guys, it's HR, and today I decided I would do a video on my hamster Henry and just playing with him and also a few tips of if you get a new hamster and how to ha tame him because today I have officially tamed Henry. So before I start, I would also like to let you guys know that my schedule that I've been doing every Wednesday and weekends, it will be stopped because I've had a lot of stress with doing that every week, especially twice a week, and even if it's on the weekends, I still have a lot of plans. I'm a busy woman, you know? So, anyways, that will not continue until further notice, but I will be doing a video at least once a week, I promise. I'll do my best. So, let's get started. You're going to need a big cage, one that has lots of different things inside of it, you would also should have a wheel, tubes, and a lookout area. Henry loves it up here. He is the sweetest thing. I would also recommend giving your hamsters a few days to set in before you actually start with these tricks. Now first I would recommend using a big empty shoebox. You would also want a few treats. If your hamster now. is ready, then put him inside of the box. The box should not be too tall and should not be too short either. You want it to be where he can't climb out, but that he can easily move around and breathe. It should also be pretty big. You also would want some treats. My Henry likes dry mango, which is something you can get from Ingalls. At least that's where I got it or Target, or Publix, or any place like that. So, what I did was I picked him up and put him in this box, and then I just let him crawl all over me. I would practice picking him up, as you can see here, and my leg is like totally in the way. I was so uncomfortable because I didn't want my feet to be in the video. So I just picked him up and held him, and if he wanted to move, then... I would let him by putting my hand in front of the other hand as he crawled, as you can see here. Now, hamsters are very curious animals, and in case you didn't know, they explore from 5 to 9 miles a night, and that is absolutely crazy. They are nocturnal, so they are awake at night, which is actually very bothersome because he is in my room and he has a very noisy wheel. So, I will also be doing a video on making your life easier with hamsters, get good sleep, um, explore and expand their cages. You never want your hamster to be bored. You can repeat the process of doing this multiple times including putting him down in the box and then picking him back up or putting him back into his cage even and then taking him and putting him back a few minutes later or maybe even right after you put it back. I feel like this helps because you want your hamster to get used to be being picked up and put in, in a new area. I will also recommend that you and maybe one of your friends or family members um, makes a diamond with your legs by spreading them out and put him in the middle. That way, your hamster has new places to explore all the time. And I feel like this is just a really good method to do to get him used to you in this way because he is tame in a day. I practiced this multiple times today and it worked very well and I'm super happy and looking at his cage now I can see that he is asleep in his wheel. Oh look at that face. <laughs> 